But we're here to celebrate Joey Ramo. And I wanted to say that Joey was an outsider artist. He was a man engaged in intense self-exploration. He was a person who truly lived at the edge while, while challenging our traditional cultural values. Joey created his own set of rules and lived them in an unsympathetic environment. I started thinking about what Joey Ramon Place is about. This is Joey Ramon Place. In this dungeon, in this dive, in this rock place where a scene happened a quarter of a century ago of a lot of different people who came down and hung out and picked each other up at the bars and played some music and became a moment in time. And when you look outside at the Bowery now, at the condos coming up and the luxury buildings, and the, the sense that this is not an urban frontier anymore, as it was when the Ramones first walked on this stage. I think it's really nice to have a place called Joey Ramon Place, so you can stand here and remember. Uh, we'd like to thank you all so much for coming today. Come on, please, This is a really remarkable day, and we'd like to thank the council people in the city of New York for bringing Joey Ramon back home. It kind of feels like he's back here now, more than ever. And Joey is with us, and we're going to go outside and unveil the actual street name, which will, will forever be affixed, as it will forever be recorded in the official book of records of the city of New York. The Bowery and East Second Street will forever now be co-named Joey Ramon Place. His mother and his brother, it's been a long day. We want to thank you for giving uh, to us, Joey Ramon, and we will present to you this enlargement uh, replica of the actual street name, yeah. Joey Ramon Place. Yeah. All right, we have one last word as we go outside today for Marky Ramon. Another one. Hey, everybody, I want everyone to go, hey ho, let's go. Hey, hey.